Imagine a dark room filled with shelves of unsolved cases that may not have been looked at in years. Now imagine taking those cases off the shelf and bringing them into the light. The goal of this channel is to shed some new light on those dark cold cases on a state-by-state -state basis. Thus, welcome to Dark Cold State. Today's true crime cold cases are from the state of Missouri. Our first cold case is the murder of Ramon Gibbs. It was July 4th, 2019, four days away from Ramon's 22nd birthday. He had just recently moved out on his own and had a wonderful job that he loved. He was finding his independence and starting his own life. He planned to celebrate the July 4th holiday with his relatives. He went to a location near the intersection of Gamble Street and Glasgow Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri. It was where his family had a tradition of celebrating the holiday. It was the neighborhood where his father grew up, but would be the place that Ramon would be fatally shot. At approximately 9.55 p.m., officers received a call relating to a shooting in the 2900 block of Gamble Street. Ramon was found in the driver's seat of a Nissan Altima and was suffering from a gunshot wound to the head. He was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced deceased. Another person had also been shot in the leg and was transported to the hospital as well in stable condition. It is believed that shots were fired from a light-colored SUV that had stopped on Garrison Avenue and fired several shots at individuals and vehicles on Gamble Street. Individuals on Gamble Street returned the fire at the light-colored SUV. It is believed that Ramon was caught in the crossfire during these events. If you have any information regarding the murder of Ramon Gibbs, please contact the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department Homicide Section at 314-444-5371. If you wish to remain anonymous, you can contact Crime Stoppers at 866-371-8477. Our next cold case is the case of Gloria Jean Barnes. At approximately 8.29 a.m. on July 13, 1997, Springfield police were dispatched to Seven Gables Truck Stop on Chestnut Expressway. They were going to investigate the report of a dead body that had been discovered by four truck drivers. Officers found the body of a deceased white female wrapped in blankets lying on the pavement in a parking lot behind the buildings. The deceased person was wearing a white spring break t-shirt and black shorts. This person was later identified as Gloria Jean Barnes. Gloria was last seen alive in Joyner, Arkansas on July 10, 1997. Gloria called her brother at approximately 1.45 a.m. the next morning and told him that someone was trying to get her. The call was traced to a payphone in the parking lot of a convenience store in Joyner, Arkansas. That convenience store was burglarized on the same night as Gloria's disappearance. Police officers have received numerous tips and possible leads regarding Gloria's case. Those tips include a witness hearing an unknown person admitting to killing Gloria over the CB radio. Other information received states that a gray semi-truck gave a ride to Gloria shortly before her death. The gray truck had the word Graceland on the cab and a picture of Elvis on the fairing. It had the words Memphis Consolidation and or Trailer Transit on the doors of the truck cab. If you have any information regarding the murder of Gloria Jean Barnes, please contact the Springfield Police Department at 417-864-1810 and reference case number 9743653.
Our last true crime cold case for this week is Christina Cunningham. On February 4, 2017, at approximately 10.28 p.m., a Missouri Highway Patrol trooper responded to a call regarding a stranded motorist at I-29 and 56th Street. When they arrived, they found the vehicle with the door open and no one inside. They conducted a search and found the body of a woman on the ground. She was taken to a local hospital where she was pronounced deceased. She was later identified as 23-year-old Christina Cunningham. Christina's death was ruled a homicide after it was determined she had been shot to death. It is believed that someone who had been riding in the car with Christina shot her and left her on the side of the road to die. If you have any information regarding the death of Christina Cunningham, please call the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department Homicide Unit at 816-889-1616. Or eight one six two three four five two two eight and reference case number one seven eight eight five nine. There are also many unidentified remains found in each state. If you have not already done so, please consider getting DNA testing completed where the DNA results are shared with law enforcement so that the possibility of identifying any unknown remains is increased. The goal of this channel is to provide attention to these cold cases. If you like the videos on this channel, please click the like button, share the video with others, comment below, and subscribe to the channel so that these videos are seen by as many people as possible. Appropriate update videos will be provided if needed. If you have a cold case or a missing person cold case that you would like to see featured on this channel, please suggest in the comments below or email me the information.